We've learned a lot about Matt Gates this week. Uh, for example, we learned that he was one of the people who asked Donald Trump for a presidential pardon. And in fact, Matt Gates's request for a, car, a pardon was for anything he's ever done going back to the time of his birth. And gee, I, w I wonder why Matt Gates would want a pardon that basically covers his entire lifespan. Huh? Big mystery there, right? Actually, not really. That was a joke, obviously, because we know what Matt Gates was terrified of. And it's the same thing that actually Matt Gates keeps a framed article of in his office, according to a recent report, a recent report from actually about a week ago. And I'm a little disappointed that I, I didn't catch it at the time because this is absolutely the kind of thing I would love to talk about. Matt Gates keeps an autographed note of encouragement from Donald Trump framed in his congressional office. But it's not just any note of encouragement. Oh, no, 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 no. It is a printed out article from the Washington Examiner explaining how Matt Gates is fighting back against the accusations against him. And of course, the FBI investigation into his activities. So Donald Trump printed out, I'm assuming he had somebody print out for him this article from the Washington Examiner. And he signs it saying, Matt, this is great. Keep fighting. You will win. And then he sent it to Matt Gates and Matt Gates gets this printed out article in the mail. And he says, Oh boy, I'm going to put it in a frame and hang it in my office because it talks about what a fighter I am for fighting back against all those horrible accusations against me in that investigation where my ex-girlfriend is cooperating against me. My, my former wingman, Joel Greenberg is cooperating against me. Everybody else is cooperating against me, but I'm totally innocent. And I just wish I had gotten that presidential pardon. This is pathetic. Look, we have talked a lot about very, you know, God countless, uh, pathetic Matt Gates stories over the years. This may be the most pathetic. Yeah, sure. It's an autographed article from, I'm assuming, you know, uh, shortly after Trump left office because the scandal broke in 2021. Um, but it also talks about the allegations against you. And, and, and now you, you kind of have that as a framed reminder in your office of the horrible things that you're implicated in. So a little weird, right? That you would want to keep that. Uh, it's even weirder that Trump, of course, uh, prints out articles and signs them and sends them to people. Although we've known about that because he's been doing that ever since he was president. <laughs> so whole lot of weirdness, a lot of pathetic actions taking place all across the board. But of course, I think the biggest thing is that Matt Gates knows how guilty he is. And I think that's undeniable at this point. You don't ask for a presidential pardon going back to the time of your birth, unless you have what legal experts call consciousness of guilt, which means, you know, you did something bad. You know, you're probably going to get caught for the bad thing you did. So you're trying to weasel your way out of it before that ever even happens. Well, it's too late for Matt. He didn't get that pardon. He got the article. Yeah, sure but not the pardon. And I'm afraid, Maddie, that little article is not going to save you when this investigation finally comes to the point of arresting all of those other unnamed individuals that were hinted at in that Greenberg indictment. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.